this beautiful little creature and scales are in metallic. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Shame. She came out to warm herself up. <laughs> so I here in uh, Florida doing uh, some fountain of permaculture for a friend of mine. John is laughing now at me. Uh, and uh, ultimately, let me show you what we're doing. It. Really, anyone should be, if you're building a house in Florida, you should be using the water that's coming off your roof that goes into French drains that basically feed your garden. And no one does this in Florida when they build a house. And it's such a waste of water. And a lot of times they just have the pipe just going on the sidewalk that goes into the drain, you know, the water drain, um, and washes away. So here is the water drain. And what I've done here is I've, I've dug a French drain that's going to feed the water and ultimately, even if it overflows, the slope word and his property is downward, that it's going to spread the water out and help feed his, his yard. And we're going to plant flowers down here. And the idea is the water is going to come down here and feed this bed and have this nicely extra water. Because unless he runs the sprinklers, this bed right here is not going to get lots of water. Um, so we're using the house here. And ultimately, you could do this with every um, drain. Now, ideally, if I had the time, what I would actually do is snake it. You could snake this drain. It would take, you know, snake this this uh, French drain all the way on your garden. And every time it rains, you could water your garden and not even probably need uh, sprinklers because every five at five o'clock, right, John? Pretty much five o'clock every day, it rains in Florida, and you could get all this additional water out into your yard or to where you want it. Something else I'm doing is creating little reservoirs that's going to capture the water that's going to, the pipe's going to run on top of this. Now what I'm going to do is fill these up with stone and uh, put some gauze over it. So the roots will be able to find their way in there to create this moisture and humidity. And then ultimately there will always be water underneath the plants that are going to plant on top of these. So the next stage of the project is to buy one of these. Now what you're gonna have to do is perforate the bottom with, with, uh, with a knife. So, but, yeah, but they're really expensive. If you buy this, it's like, um, if you buy this, it's only $19, whereas it's, it's like, uh, it costs about $70 for 100. So you can get this for basically $19, doing it this way here. And, uh, so basically underneath here, I have sliced it on the bottom so it leaks out. And each of these, each of these rims here is gonna hold the water too, on there. So here's the pipe, and I'm gonna basically uh, spin it around. Now, over the reservoirs, I have uh, just sliced a little larger holes. So basically, I'm ensuring each of these little reservoirs that I put in is going to fill up with water and hold water. And that's gonna be a water source high enough for the roots to get down into and find it. So this is all done now. So now I just have to basically twist this around and put the slices in these holes in the bottom. So continuing on with this project, and I'm nearly done. I'm going to show you what I've done so far to give you an update. So now um, some really cheap gravel, so two bucks a bag, two something a bag. Put it around. Now, the purpose of the gravel is to allow the water to diffuse out, right? So there's lots of water. Basically, the ground isn't comp um, compacted around there, and the water can basically, you're basically tripling the size, the amount of water that it can hold. And as you can see, I had more pipes. So I wrapped it around. So this bed in the middle here, ideally, is going to be full of uh, good uh, stuff. So I finished that project and also built this for my friend. Basically this is a wicker, wicker bed. Gravel's filled up to here. There's some peat moss 
has a barrier and then it's filled up with dirt and then he's got thyme and um, basil and hopefully this will come back. He's pretty waterlogged but this will come back um, built in here. So this would be a nice little herb, herb garden right here inside of his lanai so bugs can't get to it. And uh, all he needs to do is take a look in here and see water down there and he knows it's good to go. And this one's done. I planted some little plants, little flowers around the edge. But ultimately, I'll put herbs or other things growing in here. And that's it. You can't even tell it's ever been in there. But now you have a nice water source through this area. Foundups.com stakeholders, supporters of Foundups, which is a decentralized business model, kind of a pay it forward type business model for helping the world become a better place basically allows me to spend my time and, and help others. Others who traditionally wouldn't have the ability, the, the revenue to pay someone to come in and do uh, permaculture. So I want you to imagine a world where individuals help one another and working on projects to make the world a better place, whether it's permaculture or whatever, planting trees, having this activity covered and supported by others. So to learn more, visit foundups.com.